Hey guys, welcome to A Week in the Life. Make sure you're shopping HoopMob.com. Follow us on Instagram at The Hoop Mob and join our private Facebook group, The Hoop Mob Hideout. Everything will be linked below. Now let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Danielle, creator of HoopMob.com. And today I'm just going to take you along as I head into the office. We just had our first big drop of the year so i thought it would be good for you to follow me along um, as we deal with some of our issues that we had with the drop and just so you can see the day-to-day -day, um, of running a business online so follow along Okay, so I just want to fill you guys in on what happened with our drop. So basically, there were two products on our website and they had the exact same images. So if someone ordered one of those products, that product was actually not in stock. And then if someone ordered both of those products, they were ordering basically the same product twice. Don't tell me how it happened, girl. I was rushing, trying to get the things up on the website. So um, basically, we have to go through and fix them today with the orders. Just gonna see if I can think about um, Black Friday a little bit. Figure out the details of that. You know, I worked with other brands before. Um, and Black Black Friday. I've been saying Black Friday. Black History Month is. Um, clearly all month long but people's attention spans are not that long so um if i'm gonna do something for black history month i'll probably have to do something different every week of the month um because if you did a campaign and think you're going to stretch it the entire month that's not going to work like people are going to get tired of seeing that those images they're going to get tired of that theme or whatever so um i need to think about how i'm going to break it down or if i'm going to like start the month off with black history and it's our anniversary on the first it's hoop mobs two-year anniversary on february 1st so i think i'm going to combine that some kind of way i don't know if i'm going to do a sale or what um what is our anniversary it's black history month and then it's valentine's day as well so um i can like start off with black history month transition into valentine's day and maybe come back to black history month to wrap up the month that sounds like a plan actually based on what makes sense. You know, I think it would be cool to do all of our hoops that are actually black. We'll showcase them as some kind of collection. Not collection as you get them all together, but just market them together. And then I was thinking that because all of our, not all of them, but majority of our charms are kind of speak to they do speak to our culture um so maybe like talking about each one kind of giving each charm its own spotlight maybe i'll take a week and do and focus on like sneaker culture within 
black culture or you know even Jordan himself um, as a part of like black history or maybe how women in sneakers or something like that basically I'm gonna take each charm and do some marketing around it tying it into black history month tying it into black history month because <clears throat> I don't want to do the same old Martin Luther King and all that Push the um, shimmy and shake hoops and like these pretty colors for Valentine's Day. And even the candy hoops, I feel like, are really cute and flirty. So we'll do like date night type of things. And that will have to start on like the 5th. the people who ordered both um so that cut into today's sales but it's all good we still hit a huge milestone um for the year for the month um considering that today is only the 18th um so we 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 look like we're on track we look like we're on track oh yeah i'm about to get something to eat i don't know what i'm gonna eat because i've been trying to eat better it's like really nothing you can eat better um, on the go. There's not too much you can eat. I'm really tired of eating like Chipotle and Qdoba. That's been my go-to of like, okay, it's not so bad. But I'm so sick of it. service is so important for me and my brand like if any of y'all have ever shopped with us y'all know we don't really play about customer service if something arrives broken it is replaced or you are taken care of in some kind of way um what you know my sister does customer service i don't know if i told y'all that we don't have to go back and do a whole like introduction to the brand and all of that we'll do that but my sister does customer service and we have a customer service log so any email and i've caught so many people up in lies from this log so any email that is sent um it is logged in our customer service log we say what the nature of the email was about were they inquiring about their shipping were they um did something arrive broken did you know whatever we log it and then um you know so we can all have record and then my mom goes in and checks off if it was if the order was recent she puts the shipping information all of that so everybody knows what's happening with customer service with customers with issues and then i can go in and see any trends like okay are we um has this earring been an issue for a lot of people or um are we constantly sending out the wrong item to people you know i can see like what's the issue and then we can address it but um there has been so many people that's like yeah i emailed y'all da, 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 da. and i'm like well according to our log this was sent out to you on this day here's the tracking um and we replied to your email at this time on this day and they're like oh, okay thank you <laughs> like i really don't want to play with customer service because one we are 
uh, fighting an uphill battle, basically, as a black-owned brand. People already want to make an assumption about us and what and, and our customer service and the type of, you know, they just put these stereotypes on you as a black-owned brand. And so that's why it's super duper important to me to like take care of people. And I've done some research. It's better and easier to take care of a customer issue uh, opposed to them leaving a bad review or having a bad taste in their mouth and sharing that with other people because most brands um, are you know people you might be exposed to other people through your marketing or whatever your Instagram or whatever but ooh, we get in the I just passed the restaurant called the Tangy Crab. Y'all don't know how much I've been wanting like a crab boil type of thing. Mm, okay, sorry, sorry. Um, what was I even talking about? Oh, I'm about to be at the Tangy Crab every day. Oh, what was I talking about? Customer service. Tangy Crab. Okay, so today is Tuesday. Um, I'm going to head into the office very briefly today. I'm actually on my way to an appointment. I've been doing this like body sculpt and stuff. So that's where I'm on my way to now. And then I'm going to go to the office after that to um, finish the packages uh, with my mom I mean I'm sure she's done but um, the people who completed the form to let us know if they want a refund or if they want the other earring um, I saw that we had a lot of um, people complete the form yesterday so I need to get that information to my mom so she can um, pack those orders I do need to call the photographer or text her and see what day we can set up. I'm thinking that I just want to do um, one big day of shoot to knock everything out so I can have everything as far as all of the content and imagery for February. And then I've been thinking that I do need to hire another person right now. Um, so I have my mom who is the shipping manager. I have my sister who is over customer service. And then I have my cousin part time my cousin does um, like processing, basically packaging all of the um, earrings into our packaging. And, but I think I need someone to do like community management to manage like the comments, the DMs, stuff like that. And then um, to also manage like the influencers and outreach. So we're going to be doing like a lot of outreach this year. Um, and when I say outreach, I mean working with people, reaching out, working with people. So influencers and um, like I want to work with a few organizations um, and do some like charitable work. Um, and so I feel like I need someone to oversee that because, you know, I'm working on the website. I'm uh, taking the pictures and doing all that. I just need somebody to handle that. So it would be a full time position. I want them to be committed to the company so the thing is when you hire like interns or part-time you start depending on them but they cannot depend on you because you are not meeting their needs financially <laughs> come on somebody you are not meeting their needs so they cannot totally depend on you and commit themselves to you and your company um, if they're not being paid properly so that's why I have it. a lot of people are like why don't you get some interns that's why because one I, I then have to take the time to train them extensively. Um, they're expecting more from me than I can probably get out of them. They want opportunities. They want to move up. They want me to teach them all of these things. You know, um, I would rather just pay somebody. I would rather just pay somebody. It pays. You get what you pay for, basically. So um, I'm thinking about hiring somebody full time because I don't want them to be split in between like oh yeah I work for hoop mob but I also need a second job because they don't pay me enough or I don't get enough hours or something like that um I just think that takes the headache away and if we're able to do it as a company I don't see why we cannot do it this is actually my favorite part 
is um, hiring people and showing showing everyone that this is possible you know um, when we reached six figures it didn't feel like what I thought it would feel like when we were doing you know five figure months and stuff like that didn't it feel like what I thought it would feel like because um, I do enjoy making money but that's not the best part to me the best part was when I told my mom to quit her job and come work for me like I shed a tear we cried together um, the best part is her and my sister messaging each other like oh my god I can't believe this is our job I really enjoy this it's so stress-free blah, blah blah like that's the part like really impacting the people around me that's the part that matters so um, yeah but I just want to make sure I have people in place who are capable and um, you know down the ride <laughs> ride with the mob all right I'm gonna go into this appointment I might show y'all a little bit of how it goes it's nothing crazy it's just basically they massage my stomach with a warm plate and I pee and get rid of all the water weight. I'll show y'all. All right, sorry y'all. I didn't show anything. Me and the girl was talking the whole time, basically. But this is where I go, Light RX. It's in Grand Blank. If you are in the area, I'm really wearing a mask and makeup on. But I be wanting to be cute, so that's the problem. Ooh. on the other front. Yeah. This just goes to show you that you don't need much. This is a backdrop from Amazon and tape. So, no excuses. Okay, I'm gonna get you that list of people that say they want the pineapple. You didn't finish, did you? And I just made a um it may be great today. I just made a Google form um and sent the link to the customers. Okay, we got all the responses. Um only five people want a refund, so that's good. And what I'm gonna do is export this into a spreadsheet give this to my mom so I'm just gonna quickly show you how I shoot some of our social media content I have everything set up in the office which is really convenient um, so these turned out really nice I like doing really short videos with just the products Today is 
Thursday and after a quick Starbucks run, I headed up to the office. Um, I had a really good conversation with one of my best friends, Crystal. And so she's gonna come up here and work today from the office. She hasn't seen our new space. We moved from a space downstairs to this space with windows, which I really love. I really love the natural light. So I'm just clearing space out for her cause she's gonna do some work up here as well. And it's a be nice little girl's day. set it up like office space and then studio space so that's where i, I took it down so you can have room but that's where i sit up to just take the product shots and then this is where i take my pictures mm -hmm. i just got it taped up to the wall you see it's falling yeah. um but anyway i take my pictures and i just set up all of the lights and stuff it don't take much and this is my favorite part too <laughs> It's my life. Bye. Okay, so um, it's still a decent time. It's um, only 12.45. So I'm going to um, try to map out the rest of the drops for the year if I can. Um, and based on the monthly sales goals, I'm going to, and based on like what we typically do a drop or what I know we can do per drop, I'm going to try to map those out to where I can figure out when I need to order merchandise um, and just have a better flow for the rest of the year. I mean, I feel like the rest of the year is pretty ambitious. So maybe I'll do like first and second quarter as far as like new arrival dates. Um, we have three different types of um, drops or new arrivals that we do i like to call it a soft drop is when we just put stuff on the website and send out an email um and post about it that's like a soft drop well i guess it's only like two so a soft drop and then like when we do our big drops of when like i go live on facebook and instagram um and really do a lot of uh, marketing ahead of time get people really excited about it um, drop sneak peeks and all of that so that's like our big drop and then we do a soft drop um, so I'll plan those out the soft drop normally don't um, do as much sales as the big drops um, but sometimes we just you know need to put stuff out there and it's not maybe we don't see it as being like a huge seller but maybe it's like an essential earring that we need like something like this like if I had a bunch of like kind of just plain gold stuff then I'll put that as a soft drop of like go get your basics or get your gifts or do whatever you know so um but if I have like really cute styles um I'll do a big marketing push behind it so I'm gonna try to map that out today um just so I know when I need to be ordering new merchandise and you know how the flow is gonna go And since today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday, I'm gonna um, get with my mom to see which which earrings we should start pushing more. Not pushing more, but tomorrow is Friday. And so I wanna do a bigger push for tomorrow with an email. Um, like what's kinda not selling? Can I take some new pictures really fast to, um, push some sales for tomorrow um weekends obviously like thursday through sunday sales pick up um so sales have already picked up for today but we are going to see um what we can jimmy shimmy for tomorrow for the weekend so
basically with this info, there is about 15 styles that are not really moving as fast or we just have a few left and we want to get rid of them. So I'm going to um, build some marketing around it so those can get gone. Um, I might put them on sale. Hopefully that will jimmy up some sales for this weekend. Okay guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I know it's only Thursday, but <laughs> this a lot, sis. So um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm just, for the rest of the week, I'm gonna send out an email. Um, tomorrow is gonna be an easy day for me because I gotta do some stuff outside of the office anyway. So thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments uh, what else you would like to see as far as day in the life. Um, if you wanna see some, you know, tutorials or how I shoot my products or whatever, just let me know in the comments. Thanks so much.